All right. The magic of Marco and a theater near you. But my next guest is a very special guest, and uh, I'm glad she took the time to get here. She's Miss 2015 New York. Let's give her a late night welcome for Jamie Lynn Makia. <laughs> Hello there. Uh -huh. <laughs> we'll get it on here. You get we'll, it on. Uh, get it. You're looking wonderful tonight. <laughs> Thank you. How's it going? Great. How are you? Doing great. Very well. <laughs> it's good to see you. You too. So, Back. like, what, listen, I got to say, the last time you were here with a 2014 Christmas special. Yes. And a lot's been going on since then. Yeah, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, that was a good been, time, Suave. It's been a while. Yeah, he Sh interviewed me. It was wonderful. <laughs> Shorty Long, I think, and the Jersey Horns were there, too, right? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but since then, 2015, yeah. June, you won Miss New York, so. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I was Miss Staten Island then, I believe. I just, I had yes. just given up my title. Then I won Miss Greater New York and went back to Miss New York for the fourth time and, and finally took the title. So. Now, why don't you tell us and myself uh, what got you to the Miss American beauty pageant from yeah. there? Uh, so Miss America is a scholarship organization. So when I was a senior in high school, it was listed on my scholarship paperwork, and um, it was something that I could apply for. And since mm -hmm. I've been a dancer my whole life, talent's the biggest portion, and I figured I'd give it a shot. So now I've been doing it for, for seven years. Now, why don't you tell us about some of the, uh, the prep work? You were there for two, two weeks in Atlantic City, right? Yeah, we, I was in Miss America for two weeks. Um, so people only see one day on TV. They don't really know that we're, we're so there for two weeks. Boot camp, pretty it, much, right? It, they call it boot camp. They call it boot camp really? for preparing to be Miss America because you're nonstop for two weeks. So. We make appearances together. We go to rehearsals together. Um, actually, when we went there, we started in Atlantic City went to New York City, which was really great for me because I got to show all the girls, you know, my hometown, uh -huh. and I uh, went to Philadelphia. So we were back and forth all over, rehearsals nonstop. There was a full week where I feel like I didn't see daylight because we were in rehearsals so much, but it was just, it really was such a great experience. You only get to do that once, so. No, forget about it. I mean, <laughs> you being from New York, too, anyone that's out of state, and even from the, the South, they love New York people. Yeah. <laughs> But you don't have the typical, like, strong accent, say, like, I have a typical New York accent. Well, that's so funny. Accent. That's funny because I went to Miss America and they were telling me I had an accent. <laughs> really? And I was like, I guess to them I do. <laughs> well, you're very, uh, what's that word called? Low spoken. Like, you know, you're yeah, I'm down good. low. Well, I'm well spoken. You're not one of these, I like, lost my accent a little bit. <laughs> not like one of these Bensonhurst Italian girls. <laughs> hey, you know. I am 100% Italian, but. <laughs> no, forget about it. Now, before the night of the show, did you know? Did any of you know that you, who was going to be picked for the top 15? No. Was it planned or was it all spontaneous? It was spontaneous. So they do a rehearsal. We do rehearse, but it's random 15 girls that rehearse. They pick you out of a hat. And uh, so nobody knows, actually, who's going to be called on stage that night. And it's a surprise. We find out when the audience finds out. Now, what do you actually do besides, like, the judging behind the scenes? Like, you, you, got, you got to dance, I, I could, could imagine, right? Yeah, so we're, the second week that we're there, we participate in preliminaries. So preliminaries are where all 52 girls compete, and that's when the judges decide who makes it to the final night. And uh, so we do a talent portion. I'm a dancer. Um, we have an onstage question. We have a private interview that nobody sees. And then we have, of course, swimsuit and gown, which is what everybody knows us for. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we all do that, all 52 girls and I got to do that on the Miss America stage which has been always a dream of mine so. yeah man, that must have been that must have been a guess yeah it's a big stage like the biggest stage I've ever been on in my whole life and I've I've been a dancer my whole life and mm -hmm. that was just it was incredible I mean with the crowd it's, it's being a performer the more people that are in the audience the better I think you perform definitely when it's feedback yeah I mean you really got to really master your craft to work in front of a small audience sometimes I get nervous sometimes in front of a small audience, but when it's a big audience, for some reason I just come alive. Yeah, I mean, when it's a small audience, you think about each individual person watching you, but when it's a big audience... 100,000 percent. Yeah, it's just, it's easier, and you know, it's, it's almost more for yourself when you're performing for a big audience, because there's so many people you can't think about them, you're only focusing on what you're doing. So it's yeah. really nice to just, for me, dancing is something that I love, and to just dance on stage and not worry about everybody else is, is really great. Now, did they give you the freedom to pick your own gown, your clothes? 
what do they call it? A gown, your dress? What do you yeah, wear? Yeah, my gown. A gown, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we, I had a complete freedom. I could have worn anything I wanted to, which is really great because you only get to do this experience once, and I wanted to do it the way I wanted to do it. And so, yeah, I had a really amazing gown. Now, I don't know how much you know about gowns, but I had a wonderful Giovanni gown and Coco Chateau no, you sponsored beautiful. me. I, I, saw the yeah. I saw the pictures. <laughs> you know, I haven't watched the pageant in years. I, we watched it because you wanted you wanted the show. You've been a late night guest. You're part of our, our family, and uh, being a Staten Island, it was great. Yeah. And, and I'm just gotta say, and everybody out there, including a lot of my friends, I was very disappointed <laughs> that you that you. And in my opinion, a lot of the people, you should have been at least in the top three. And I'm not just saying that. Thank you. <laughs> Hands down. And listen, I'm just gonna call it as it is. Uh, there was a lot of blondes. You know, half of them couldn't walk in the shoes. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I have to say, I have to stick I'm up for ma them. I'm not making fun of anybody. No, I, I'm I just... love, I do, I love all the girls, and you know what it is, it's just different day, different judges, whatever the organization was looking for at that point, they were looking for, and honestly, I am just so happy now that I can return home and be Miss New York for the rest of the year, because I always wanted to be Miss New York. I mean, how cool is it? That's the no best. No other state is like New York, so no, I'm very lucky. <laughs> Now listen, out of, out of this whole experience, at the end of the day, uh, how do you feel when you got home? <laughs> like I said, I felt like I got spit out of a tornado. Um, but I slept for two days, pretty much, in and out, took some naps, and right back at it. I was in Washington, D.C. for two days. I, I went to the White House. I Get went to a childhood here. cancer month briefing at the White House, which was absolutely incredible that's my platform is inspiring action yes, against pediatric cancer um, I was there for cure fest and every day I've had an, had an event since so it's back hitting the ground running and you know what it's kind of just this um, at peace feeling of what was meant to happen happened and yeah. that's passed and now to the rest of the year no listen this is just <laughs> it's another chapter in your life and that yeah. was a great chapter exactly you know what I mean and, you're only young once. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got to do it once. And I said Miss America is just a small part of our year as title holders, and it's time for the rest of it. Talk about your platform. Yes. Explain a little of it. What yeah. you do for the, you know, for that mm -hmm. organization with the cancer. My platform's Inspiring Action Against Pediatric Cancer, so that's the title I gave it because I don't want to just raise awareness. Uh -huh. I want people to take action. I want people to do something about it. Um, most people don't realize that only 4% of federal funding for cancer research is given to childhood cancers, and that's practically nothing. That's about $200 million per year, which when you're talking about such a large budget no. of billions of dollars is nothing. Um, so research is not being funded, and kids are receiving treatments that are are not for kids and so that's my focus is to make sure that that number is raised and until it is we have to give some money to that research you know it's that's a great thing and you know what cancer seems like it's in so many different forms and it's getting everybody I mean yeah people in my family my father passed the cancer it's just it's all different stages of it absolutely I mean, and you know people are not realizing that if you fund childhood cancer research and get those treatments, they can be applied to adults, but it can't go the other way around. So we need to focus on kids and we can help everybody, Listen, and I don't essentially. Want to, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but you know, rumor has it that the government does has a cure, whether they want to release it or not. I've heard it, I've heard it. I mean, I don't know if that's Listen, true or not, but I, also, I do know that pharmaceutical companies don't make money off of childhood cancer drugs, and that's one of the biggest problems right now. Yeah, because so. the very expensive yeah and they're just not making money because they quote from them kids die too fast so they don't make money off of those drugs and that's one of the biggest and, and, obstacles and it's a shame that that type of comment comes out of their mouths right <laughs> yeah you see a little kid who's who is fighting cancer and how could you ever say that no. I, I understand 100 percent this is the world we live in i i know i'm trying to change it <laughs> that's well, my well, good for you. <laughs> I know breast cancer is big. I I want to get involved with my own type of cancer thing in honor of my father. Mm -hmm. And for breast cancer, a lot of friends of mine, wife's big thing. Mm -hmm. So who knows? Yeah, absolutely. I understand. If I mean, I hope my goal. I, everything goes pink in October, so I'm trying to make everything gold in September, <laughs> and that's been my goal for for quite some time now. And we've been doing really great. The Hilton Garden Inn lit up gold for us. Um, good, Coney good. Island parachute jump, Times Square. So we've Coney been doing Island's a good the best. job. I love Coney yeah. Island. <laughs> yeah. So now, what are your other future plans? Do you have any other goals that that you're looking to achieve? Definitely. I mean, I'm going to finish my year as Miss New York. This is full time right now, and then. 
when I'm done, I hope to work for a nonprofit organization in development and fundraising. I love event planning. I love raising money. I've raised over $60,000 for various charities. Yeah. So it's something I love to do. What about getting into like commercials and doing some like advertisement for like say Burger King or whatever? It's something cool. I never Seriously. thought of that. I never thought of that until this and my first interview with Miss New York. Uh, it was just spur of the moment on camera. And when I finished, the guy said, do you, uh, do you want to do this? And I was like, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. I guess if it was offered to me. I would knows? jump on. Listen, get, get an agent. Get, get, yeah, get maybe. Whoever's <laughs> representing you. Call a couple who say, listen, I just had she ran for the... Uh, the beauty pageant. Yeah. You might get something. Who Maybe. knows? It might have you do it. Uh, Could be fun. <laughs> I don't know. A, an Ivy commercial. Yeah. Centrum, <laughs> Who whatever. Knows? Who knows? <laughs> they pay big money. I mean, I would, I, if an opportunity presents itself, why not? It's an easy gig. Yeah. And, you, and you already got your foot in the door. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. Let me make a couple of calls. Great. When I'm done, let Ten, me know. 10%, all right? All right. <laughs> okay, deal. All right, cool. <laughs> Sounds good. Now, listen. Uh, what do you think about having Jamie Lynn come on in 2016, do a show with me, co-host? Yeah, now I'm for it. You want to co-host a spot? I'll co-host, let's do it. Okay, good. <laughs> yes. We'll do it Great. towards like the, in, in the, the end of the spring. Great. I'm going to pencil you in. Awesome. That's co -host. it. Co-host. So is there anywhere on social media people could find you? If yes. Get involved with this. Uh, Absolutely. Okay, so on Facebook, facebook.com slash Miss America NY. And I have a website, jamielynnmackia.weebly.com. Did I say you, your name right the first time or the second time? The second time. All you right. got it. I was going to correct you if you didn't, but it's you, you got it. It's all good. You know what? The comedian said that so perfectly <laughs> before. I can't help what my brain says. It just says it. That's okay. You got it right that I'm time. I'm nutty like that. You got it. <laughs> it's dropped on my head too many times when I was a kid. Well, Jamie Lynn, come back anytime. Miss New York, Thank everybody. Thank you so much.